Hello once again, and thank you for joining me for another installment of our Bible Drills, where we are walking and talking and looking at the various miracles that Jesus performed while he was here upon this earth. And we want to today look at one of the final miracles that Jesus performed, at least one of the final ones that's recorded for us in the Bible, before he ended up going to the cross, and then uh, all of the things that went along with his death, burial, and resurrection. And this miracle is recorded for us in John the 11th chapter. It, it really is an extensive telling of this miracle in the first 45 verses of that chapter. Uh, and it involves some of Jesus' very closest friends. Um, in John chapter 11, we read that Mary and Martha and Lazarus, who of course were Jesus' very close friends, it just seems like Jesus had a very uh, very special relationship with this, uh, these two sisters and this brother. Uh, but we're told that one day Lazarus became extremely sick, near to the point of death. Jesus, unfortunately, was not nearby to where Lazarus and his sisters lived. So Mary and Martha sent a message to Jesus. Uh, a courier would go and bring word to Jesus that, Jesus, we want you to know that Lazarus is very, very sick. And we thought that you should know about that. In fact, we're coming to you because we hope you can do something about that. But before Jesus and the apostles get back to Bethany, we're told that Lazarus dies. And we saw that in another miracle of Jesus, in the case with Jairus. He had a daughter who was very, very sick, and he wanted Jesus to come and to heal her. But by the time Jesus got there, the daughter had already died. And so Lazarus, same case here, he's already died. And so we're told that all the neighbors and the loved ones of Bethany and in that area, they came and they comforted Mary and Martha in their time of sorrow. Well, when Jesus and the apostles finally did arrive, Mary and Martha came out to meet him and they said, Lord, if you had been here, our brother wouldn't have died. You know, he, he, he would have lived. We, we just know you would have you know, performed a miracle and you would have kept him from, from falling so sick that he ended up dying. We just know that you would have taken care of him. When Jesus saw them weeping, he wept too. In fact, that's that shortest verse in your Bible that I, I, practically every kid learns. You're trying to get them to learn memory verses. John chapter 11, verse 35, Jesus wept. And sometimes we know that verse, but we don't know the story in which that takes place. Well, it takes place right here. Jesus wept. And the result of seeing him weep, all of the other people who were there said, See how much he loved him. And that ought to be comforting to us. You know, Jesus just didn't come and do all these miracles and then didn't have any feelings toward people. No. He really cared about folks. And especially these people here who was his friends. He loved Lazarus. Cared for him deeply. Was a close friend of his. And Jesus cares for us too. When he sees us hurting and going through difficulties, Jesus feels sadness when we feel sad. Um, and he's upset by things because he cares for us in the same way. Well, when they end up ultimately arriving at Lazarus's tomb, what Jesus does is he commands that the stone be rolled away. A big giant rock would have been placed in that tomb, uh, in front of that tomb. And so he asks, I want that moved away. And that probably caused a lot of people to go, well, well why? What, 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 what are you moving this tomb away for? It's already been a couple days since Lazarus has been dead, probably by this time you would think that the body is starting to, to decompose and the smell would be bad and all those sorts of things have started to take place. But with a loud voice, Jesus comes to the beginning of the front of the tomb and he says, Lazarus, come out. And everyone, you can imagine, was watching with eagerness and with great anticipation as to what was going to happen next. Jesus ordered a stone to be removed. He says, Lazarus, come out. And then, and then immediately, Lazarus comes out of the grave. And Jesus said, unwrap those linen cloths off of his body because Lazarus has been made whole. Lazarus has been brought from death to life. And that is amazing that he calls the dead to be alive again. Who else can do that except God himself? God in human form, Jesus, the Son of God. And of course, the response is that everybody is astonished at what has taken place. So much so that many of the Jews there that day, they believed in Jesus. 
Some of those would have been people who probably up until that point had been very reluctant, had some doubts, were resistant to Jesus. But you see a miracle like this, you see a man come from death to life, man, you've got no other choice but to believe that Jesus really is who he says that he is. And really, this is just a preview of what's going to happen one day when all of the dead who are in the graves and in the tombs and wherever their bodies may be, at the voice of Jesus, they're going to rise from the dead. And I look forward to that day when we all get to see Jesus face to face and then we get to go and live with Him for all of eternity. Thanks for joining me today.